Hey y'all, it's Base Head Dipper here, dipping on some Longhorn Long Cut Straight. I'm doing something I never thought I'd be doing, and that is reviewing a projector. Now, I had this projector for about three years or so, maybe longer. And I picked it up for $75 at a local store around town called Super 10. I need to sell a lot of electronics from like TVs. Uh, they sold this, which they have one left in stock, which I can see why. Um, probably didn't sell that well, so they took most of it off the shelf, and I was the unlucky fucker to buy this. And I'll show you why here in a minute. So, the reason I say I'm the unlucky fucker, uh, first off, it says like Blast, which is not a name brand. If you actually look at the bottom here, I already went ahead and took the bulb out, just to make it easier. Merc Source, and it says Projector Entertainment Center. And that's literally the fucking name of it. That's, uh, pretty sad. But the main reason why you should try and stay away from these. Uh, it's a nice little light bulb. Don't get me wrong. It's bright as fuck. I like it. But the real problem is on the inside. See if I can't get a good shot of this. There is no fucking color wheel. It's just a light bulb, a fan, and a little audio video circuit board. And what's really weird is... They have a two-channel audio signal, but only one fucking speaker. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic. Um, it, it's a hunk of junk, to be honest. Um, you do have an audio out, so I guess that's what the left and right audio is for. Because you can't actually um, buy one of those uh, audio adapters, plug it into here, and then like plug the other into, say, a surround sound or something. But... I would not use this for a fucking surround sound. That's how terrible it is. Um, it is pixelated to hell. It looks like shit. And yeah. I don't even know how these actually work. Or how these uh, go back in. So I'm just going to put it in because I don't ever use it. And this is spring loaded. And it pretty much just goes back in like that. Or actually, no, not like that. Like that. It's spring-loaded. Which I guess is kind of good. And it's uh can only be put back in one way. Which uh, is even better. Alright, just go ahead and put that back in there. Now, I don't have free space on my wall to actually do this because my TV is right in front of the projector. And then my back wall has a poster. I could probably do it on my uh, ceiling, but my ceiling looks like shit. So, yeah, because it's texturized. It's a uh, texturized uh, plaster. Or not plaster. What the fuck they call it? Um, I don't know what it's called. Drywall, there we go. It's a textured drywall. God, I had to think of there for a second, but yeah. And the TV is actually working out really nice. Um, with that whole black spot, you can't see it during watching movies because you're zoned in. But anyways, guys, this is Babeshead Dipper signing out.